Hello everyone. Before you get into this video, I really want to apologize for the length of this video. This video is like over an hour long, but I didn't want to leave anything out. That's why I told you guys I was going to do like part one, part two, part three. So bear with me. This is a long video. If you're not able to watch it all in one setting, you can split it up and watch it in two different settings. So I'm going to be showing you 20 different, um, between the two, uh, class B RVs and tiny homes at this event. And you're going to notice through the whole video, you're going to hear me saying, wow, wow, this is nice, like 5,000 times, okay? Because when you live in a minivan in such a small space, and when you see something bigger where you can stand up and put together, of course you're going to say, wow. So I apologize for that as well, but you're going to hear that through the whole video. So I'm going to be quiet because you got enough to watch. So enjoy. Today, we are at the Tiny Fest Tiny Home and Nomad Living Festival. And there's going to be part two and part three of this video today, or well, part two and part three. Part two of this video is going to be things that you see inside of the warehouse here. And then part three will be people that live like me, that live in self-converted um, home on wheels and that's going to be part three and throughout both of these videos you might see me um, in different outfits <laughs> that's because this was a two-day event and I was here for both days so I'm kind of merging both days together in a sense. inside so let's go look at some tiny homes yeah <laughs> I'm excited. He's don't laugh at me. <laughs> I love tiny homes. Tiny homes are awesome. I'm really. You live in a tiny home. You do? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. I'm Adia. Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. This is the first house we're gonna take a look at. <laughs> wow. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. That is tiny. <laughs> it looks so different on YouTube. <laughs> until you actually go inside. But it's beautiful. So if anybody got two lofts. Yeah. Oops, those are my kids. Nice. Hang on. Nice. 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 So this is for glamping, you guys. Okay. So what I do is I wish somebody would have had me experience it before I did this because this was a subcontracted build. But if you ever want to stay and try it first to see if you can, whether you're going to build, buy, whatever. See if you can live in this space. So fit, uh, here's my card. I'll tell you when I'm up there. If you like to glamp, it's, when you show up, it's like this. You okay. Just get right to s'mores. <laughs> so, Are you at, you're yeah. in Arizona? I or? live locally and I tow it up to some campsite at least twice, uh, oh. you know, two weeks a month. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So, nice. Welcome to come. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's, did you have any other questions? Did you? It's a compost toilet. Nice shower. So she rents this out. Wow. Nice little sink area. Like, talk to me, let me guide you. At least tell you what you're doing. Nice. She my build, so it's built to a standard, so it doesn't, you know, blow a little up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when you plug it in. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Very uh, thank beautiful. you so much. So, this tiny house behind me is Lynn Eldy. She's Tiny Home Adventures. She actually rents her tiny house out for people who want to glamp, <laughs> okay? So here is her information. Uh, let's see, hopefully you can see that. Um, if not, I'll take another picture, but 
that's her information. So she definitely rents this out. She's locally in Arizona. And I took everything out of it. And then you gotta walk in to see what I did with it. So when you walk in to see what I did with it, it's, uh, you, good morning, you're gonna see something completely different. You're gonna look at them completely different now when you, when you see them going down the road. Okay, well, let's go take a look. This is pretty tiny, guys. <laughs> A nice seating area. Oh, look at the shower. That is great. Yeah, I've seen this on YouTube. I've never would have thought to. Wow, that's cute. Place lives. <laughs> guess what? You can live out of your um, trailer. That tub, well, I guess it's not a tub, that yeah. would be a shower. Wow. Nice concept. Yeah. Right. Yes. They don't have a deck yet. Okay, so behind me now, guys, is a Class B. Um, <laughs> I don't know, not sure what type of van this is, but it's a Class B. So this is one of my, I love Class B. So <laughs> this will be an ultimate goal. A Class B RV and a tiny house with a piece of land. That would be heaven to me. So we're gonna go tour this next. So this is your this is your rig. This, this is, is your it. class B. That's yep. the ultimate goal for me. A class B, a tiny house, and a piece of land. You got it. That would be heaven. That is wouldn't the dream. It? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name? My name's Tom. Hi Tom. Yep. Hi Tom. And you wanna tell them your information? Yeah, of course. Um, so we are New Life Conversions. Uh, we're based here in Phoenix and we do everything from uh, rentals. You can rent our vans uh, oh. online. Yeah, we got a really? QR code here that okay. you can scan it and rent. Um, or we do fully custom builds, which is what you see here. Right. So this is a guy from uh, from Prescott that travels across the country a lot, and this okay. is his, his home on the road. Wow. I might here. Let me get a card. You better get a card. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might have to rent something one day, guys. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then take y'all with me, okay? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to your home yep. and our... And if you wanna watch TV, that's free. You can do that for free. Right here? Yeah, oh yeah, you just sit down and watch your TV. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I didn't come here to watch TV, honey. <laughs> yeah, this is ideal for my life. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like the out, the table you can just pull, that well, slides this is, in. This is cool, are you ready for this? Most people, as you go around and see other vans, you'll see a string here. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Something else that kind of gets in the way. Yeah. So ours. It's on it. It flips up. It flips up, but the uh, the support. Oh yeah. Uh oh. It just oh, locks wow. in like that, so you don't have to worry about it. And then to undo it and pull it down, automatically flips to the right height, and it just locks in. Oh, wow. Easy peasy. Nice. Let's go take a look, guys. It's got an oven. Let's get out of town. Look at that. It's got an oven, gas burning stove. Wow. Got a full size sink. Wow. And Microwave. that converts to a couch in yep, so a dining this, room. Yep, this is an L-shaped couch with a toilet right here. Oh. Underneath this, the refrigerator's under here. Oh. So does this part slide? And so this this does. So this, this becomes your extension of your countertop for food prep and that kind of thing. And when you want the bed, so this is the backrest to for the couch. Mm -hmm. This would slide over here to be a basically a queen size bed. This guy happens to be single, so he wanted to have. So he, then we flip this up and we slide this. I on, see. And this, this is his bed, and then this becomes the couch. Wow, 
and storage. Yeah, some storage. This oh, these are, uh, sorry, I didn't mean no, to slam No, you're okay, it. that's, that's okay. what they're made for. <laughs> that's what they're made for. So they go up soft and then they, they shut them, yeah, they, they shut them their own. this the cutest little microwave? Yeah, it is cute. Where do you find these kind of that small? Um, so like the, uh, RV spots? Yeah, I think that's what this one is, right? Wow. Th this is actually so, made for Marines, so this is a fur boat. Yeah, and so, it's cool, so it's got yeah, a... Yeah, this is a Max Air Fan right Max here. Air Fan, and yeah. the solar's on top? There's actually no solar, it's all battery bank. Oh, really? And so yeah, you could camp off-grid with this thing for for a week. Oh, um, wow. Without having to no solar? It's, no solar. Wow. Yeah. Here's the cab. Swervo seats in the front. Oh, a little workstation. Yep, whatever you want it to be. You kind of have this wasted space for shower. Nice. Yeah, but not necessarily if you use it for storage. Semi custom build to take you there, starting at thirty-five thousand to ninety-five thousand. 8 to 12 week turnaround time. So these guys actually build custom class B RVs for you. And this one actually is for sale. How much? I don't know. But we're going to go inside and take a look. So far, I definitely like the lights on the steps. Good for safety. You probably wouldn't need a stool to get up here. This lifts up. Extra outdoor area. Let's step up in this baby. Really easy to get into, definitely. I'm not sure if these are swivel seats or not. This is Mercedes Benz. <laughs> is this yours? I'm talking to my <laughs> subscribers, <Okay>. yo. <laughs> so let's take a look and see what it feels like to sit in here, y'all. Yeah. How I look driving this. <laughs> How I look driving a Mercedes Benz. Oh, no. Let me get off my high horse. <laughs> nice, though. The seating is definitely comfortable. Yeah. Nice. Oh, God. I know. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, this is nice. Oh, man, you guys. I think I'm in love with Class D's. Definitely. Let's go finish taking a look at the rest. I like this build. Now, for the bedding, how, what do you do? This is called a Murphy bed. Oh, a Murphy bed. So you'll have your cushions back here or your, your stove. So you just lay those bed. down? Yeah, just pull these out. Oh. And if you look above you, you can climb up there, but we don't have the ladder out. Oh, I see. And you can sleep. For two people. You can sleep up here. Wow. You took the seats, one of the seats out. These are called smart seats. This is a smart floor. Uh -huh. so you can take the seats in and out. You can move them forward or back if you want. And all the other, a lot of seats, which they are in, they're in. You can't move them. Okay. I like this one a lot because it gives you room. It gives you room to walk through the galley, which is, we like. We like that. Yeah. Uh, again, there's anything we can add, we can put onto it. You know. Cooktop, so yeah, I was gonna say um, no cooktop. No, we can. Add but all you could that. add all that if Easily. the person needed yes. plenty of storage. Yes. That's the fridge. That's what's huge. That's what we like the storage. Yeah. Pantry, sliding uh, drawers. I like that. Oh wow! 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 I'm like I'm. I'm something else. Oh, okay, composting toilet. Wow. The seats are nice when you get them out there on rollers. You can roll them around anywhere you want. Really? And if you just two of you, you can take the seats out for the trip and you have even more room. Nice deep drawers. Deep sink. 
So it runs off solar or uh, well, solar and battery? It can run off solar. We're going to add, we're actually, when we get back, we're going to put solar up on top of the pop-up. Okay, okay. We have 200 amp hours now. We're going to add another battery, which is 400 amp hours, which is plenty. I actually like this. So, like, you said anywhere from, like, 35 to 95,000, right? That's the sign that's the out build, there. Yeah, Just for the build. The, the apparatus itself, the van itself. The van only has 700 miles on it. Only because wow. 300 of them drove out here. I, I like this. I got the information. I'm going to share with my subscribers. Up there, if you want one on the table around yep, the corner. Yep, I got okay, both. Perfect. I have both. And this is more information that they have, guys. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah, I really like this van build right here. I like the Murphy bed that they have because look at all that extra space that you get inside the van. The only thing that they don't have that I, they don't have a shower that I noticed, but I don't know if that would be a deal breaker for some people or not. I'm not sure, but look at all that space. <laughs> you don't feel Woo closed in. Nice build. Now behind me looks like a container home. So let's go check it out. The little, little front porch step area. Nice. Nice. We are the, the, the car factor, we are overweight. We have, uh, uh, for instance, California, we're based in California. Okay. California is 13 and, and 19 on the roof. We are uh, 24 in the walls and 36 on the roof. Okay. And on the bottom, we also 36 because the bottom is also insulated and it's, it's sealed. Okay. So this is, uh, this this one has is about the 70. Yeah, 70 something. Yes. Okay. And we have option for a bigger uh, apartment return. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And actually, we use stronger steel than a container. What's a ballpark cost on something like this? This one is 77000 77000 77, Yes. Yes. And the others, uh, we have the small one, the, the studio, which is the 12, which is from here to there. Nice the sink. Hey, yo. It's uh, 27000 <laughs> Then the suite is this, plus the bathroom, says the same bathroom. It's uh, 57 we jump with this one. Nice. Seven, 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 shower. Nine, Big. Five, you can fit three. three people in there. You guys build them all wow. No, we build it in our facility and when we, we deliver it. Yes. Try before you buy it. Wow. Now, this house behind me looks like something I would definitely like. It looks big, it looks spacious, but it looks still tiny. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go look. Nice little outdoor area. Yeah, I like, I like already. Nice little patio, long windows. For lighting. We do it the 10 foot porch. You have a 10 this foot porch? This is a 5 foot porch. Oh. Yeah. We do this on the front and or in the rear, master, not the master bedroom. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my tiny. This is 11 feet wide. We do up to 15 feet wide. The master bedroom. Yeah. This is my type of tiny home, for sure. Yep. A huge TV, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful. So, plenty of cabinet space. Yes. Oh, sorry. oh, you're fine. I went up. You went down. <laughs> Plenty of 
plenty of cabinet space. Wow. Yep, this is my type of tiny living. Beautiful. Plenty of cabinet space. Plenty. This is my type of tiny living, guys. Right here. This is perfect. Plenty of cabinet space, two sinks, stove. Is this a dishwasher? It has a dishwasher, oven. Oh my goodness. And here is the bathroom. You don't feel claustrophobic in this place. Nice. You got a shower, no tub, which is fine because. Hey, that's good. You look like you have a real toilet. <laughs> a real toilet. If it's different than those other Yeah. This would be in there full time. Nice. I like this. We're going to go take a look at the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I guess this is where you would put your washer and dryer. That's what that looks like. Okay. Here is the bedroom, guys. Nice little cozy little bedroom with a nice window. It has, and then a little bay area here. This looks like um, a queen size bed that you can fit in here. Plenty of closet space. Extra storage down there. Yeah, this is this is lovely. This is my type of tiny living. Like if I was to go tiny, something this size would be perfect. You going in? No, I don't know if I can make it. You should have rails. <laughs> so there's Tim on those stairs, please. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, girl. There's Go ahead, ladies. Well, well, this they, is nice, too. They just got here. So in like 30 minutes, Bedroom is definitely a lot bigger. Sorry, Love the windows. It has a ceiling fan. Yeah, and there's five she don't have lights on, lights. but you have to do your job imagination. Yeah, everything is, is uh, full size. Love it. Love and this it. one's 135. The sea breeze next door is um, nine by, or eight and a half by 15, and it's uh, 70. Full size range. Mm -hmm. It's a portable barn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that looks like a full size microwave. Where somebody wants Definitely to put, with um, plenty like of a, a bedroom or a living storage. Like, or a man cave with a TV. It has a full know. size fridge. <laughs> I believe that's a dishwasher. Sorry. Farmhouse sink. Wow. It has washer and dryer. Oh, it's Look at the, the, the shower. Oh. It's a rainfall shower. This is a huge bathroom, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's really like a bathroom. <laughs> huge bathroom. Composting toilet. Five appliances. Nice. Yeah, you could. All right. Then I don't have to shoot it. Okay, we are inside. Plenty of windows. This is. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, the ceiling is beautiful. I do like that.
Yeah, this this is this is quite tiny. Yeah, but it's vertical. There's the bathroom. I guess that's for a washer and dryer. Bathroom. I'm gonna try to go up these steps, okay? I know. I'm. Oh Lord. Here, let me put this down. Oh yeah, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this every night. No. I'm too old. <laughs> oh no, I, I've seen enough. And it's really tiny too. <laughs> That's what they got. That just slides this way. Okay, yeah. Really okay. tiny. You have to, like, Not for IBI. Okay? Yeah. Nope. Oh, Lord. Is there storage in the stairs, though? <sighs> oh, this would be, like, something you would not live in. Yeah. Like a yeah. <laughs> Lamping. Right, right, right. Definitely. <sighs> okay, let's try to walk down these steps. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That would be something I wouldn't necessarily live in. That would be more so put it on your property as a guest house or glamping or something of that sort. So let's continue. Oh, there goes another one over here that we're going to go take a look at. Okay. All right, let's go inside. Do you, is it attached out here and make this little wire? No, they're loft upstairs. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen it on uh, extra cabinet space. I'm assuming that's a wash and dryer duo. I'm assuming this does both. Yes, yes it is a wash dryer. Full size fridge. There's people up there? Yeah, More than one? Be careful. I'm not, I'm not walking up those steps again. I'm going to see the bathroom. Oh, look at this bathroom. They put a lot of emphasis in this bath. This bathroom is spacious. Very, very spacious. Looks like you got a real toilet. And I don't know what this shower do, but it looks like you do everything. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Prices on these things are going up, girl. Okay. So far, what I am learning is I don't like the steps for the loft. I'm 47 years old, guys, and. My knees are not the greatest, and I could only imagine what my knees would be like in 10 years from now. So far, I'm learning that about these steps, and they're so narrow, you know, um, that it worries me. <laughs> if you gotta get up in the middle of the night and you gotta use the bathroom in a hurry, you don't wanna fall down the steps. Anyways, here go a few more class Bs that I'm gonna look at. Let's take a look. This is nice. I like this. And I like the fact that the bed stays put. Yeah. I like the fact that the bed stays put. You don't have to convert it or anything. You got storage space underneath. Latches. Oops, someone lives here. This is someone's home, sorry. You got storage space above. 
nice. You can definitely sleep two people on here. I'm sure under, I like this a lot. Sink, storage space up here. Nice. This is beautiful. This would be my type of class B, for sure. You see, now this lady is octopus. I know, this one is like... This, is, this one's nice. Yeah. The bed stays put, you don't have to convert it every day. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. And you still got space. Yeah. And they got plenty of storage. Plenty of cabinets, guys. Nice. And this is, um, there you go. Let me show you guys. I like this one a lot. I like the layout of this one, definitely. This is on a, a Dodge. Has a roof rack. Ooh, look at those monster tires. <laughs> You can, you can actually open and access the back of it. Wow. Oh, it has a side ladder to get on top. You can stargaze. That's my type of class B right now. I like that one. Here's the front cab. Let's get in this baby. Okay, we gonna get in. Oh, easy to get in. Oh, look at that, y'all. Mm-hmm. I look good driving this one. <laughs> nice. Comfortable. They have swervel seats. Oh, yeah. So far, I like this the most. Now there's no shower, but you know, guys, you can work around that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking to him. Like, like, you're not, you're not very, very nice though. Very nice, I like this a lot. Is there a composting toilet under there? I figured it was. You just pull the cushions up and the right Okay, there. and the fridge is under there too? Our fridge is right behind you. Oh, yeah. okay. And there's, there's a shower in this one. This was a oh, shower. Oh, I was wondering. Yeah. I was like, there's no shower. Yeah, but so there is a stand. shower. There is. Yeah. Oh, a stand. Okay, yeah, I see. It's, it's like a stand. And you hook it up right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like this one the most so far. This is my favorite. Because the yeah. color. Love the, the well, color. not only the color, but you don't got to uh, convert the bed and move the bed yeah. oh, sure. mm -hmm. every day. And it stays put and you still got plenty of storage. Yeah. Have you seen the trunk too? Not all the way. Yeah, because there's a lot of storage under there. You, you can imagine this that's all storage. Pretty much wow. Way, so. I like And And this is a Dodge Ram, right? Correct. The ProMaster, yeah. Wow. Y'all heard that Dodge Ram Pro Master. I like this setup a lot. Yeah, and this folds down to yep. black out the front. Yep. There's a bug screen on the back as well, too, so you can have the back doors open while you sleep if you want. So, how this much would well. something like this go for? Um, this one goes for around like $150,000. Mm, Y'all hear that? Y'all want to donate? <laughs> <laughs> Start a GoFundMe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it a lot. Nice job, guys. Here is another one that I think I'm going to like. It's kind of built similar to the last one we just saw. Uh, it's a Ram 350 Pro Master. It has a nice pink job. But we're going to go in as soon as we can. The front has swervel seats. Nice. Let's go inside. Ooh, 
I think I like this one better than that one. You got more space. Definitely more counter, more seating space. You got your bed that you don't have to convert every day. Uh, let me not mess with that. You got storage underneath. More storage underneath here. Nice. Storage at top on both sides. Oh, nice. I like this one. <laughs> you got space. You can even dance in here, guys. Yeah, this one's nice. I like the wood. You got lights that you can move around. Yeah, plenty of storage. Yeah, there's a sink. Is that, what's that under there? Oh, it comes with a cooktop. Nice. Oh, this company know what they doing, y'all. They know what they doing. <laughs> it has bug screens. You know, that's important in my life. <laughs> this is nice, too. Definitely has a lot of space. Definitely. Oh, let's look at the back. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at all that storage. Wow. <laughs> well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have no bikes and all, but definitely deep storage underneath. Nice. Now they got these. I don't know what this is. That's hooked onto the back. Oh, more storage. Wow. Oops. Guys, let me close this. I definitely like that one as well. There's so much to see here, guys. We're going to have to make this two videos. <laughs> two or three videos because there's so much to see. And I'm trying to give you guys a really good idea, a really good look. I'm not trying to shortcome you guys at all since you guys can't be here. Um, but there is a lot, a lot to see. And this is just the stuff inside. There's also things outside as well. So let's continue this journey. Downstairs, two lofts upstairs. Size sink. Hey y'all! 
Nice, big bathroom. You can have a party up in here. This is nice. We got a nice size kitchen. Nice. This gives you space to live. Plenty of cabinet space, small fridge and freezer. Nice. And it has two lofts, just like the other one. There's one loft. And here is the other one. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. American built tiny homes. Let's take a look, guys. I'm sorry. Are you doing a me? A me? Hello, man. Hi. Oh, this is nice. Cozy. Oh, that's just a bed. A size bed. And then it has two little Nice kitchen. No. Uh, this is a wall. Is, no, this is not a wall. This is a wall. Uh, yeah. Love the setup. Hey, y'all, once again, I have a nice size fridge and freezer, toaster oven, plenty, plenty of storage space. Plenty of storage. So, what other options? Under the step storage. Plenty. Right. If you don't want this at all. We also got storage over here. Nice size shower. Nice. I like, oh, it has the farm doors. Oops. I'll be out. Stop messing with stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is. Nice. I really like them. Take a look at that beautiful place. Okay. <laughs> I that like the so patio. Nice. Yes. Wow. Yeah, sliding doors and a French door. I mean, I'm just saying. Absolutely. So what would you? What's up? What would you do with this? Look, this was for the client wanted this for a catwalk. Oh, we okay. Can close this off and make it a loft. Or okay. You can leave it open for storage. Okay. You know, so I see. Just, just put um, plants up there and decorate it. Right. Place. Make it look yeah. good. There's the loft upstairs. Wow. So you, 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 this, you, you're a builder. Okay. Nice. So you can pretty much custom this. So this one here is a 30 foot. Nice. I like that. Has a nice setup. Nice vibe. Very good layout in there. Whoa, look at that. What is that over there, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> There's Wilder Wise. Wow. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Too small to sleep up there. Yeah. Take a look. Do you have here. a lock? small? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Come on. Because you don't think he's tall enough, I mean, to stand up in it. Mm -hmm. What's well, taller than that? Okay. I haven't been up there yet. So, this is part of the price. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Bathroom is oh, real it's tiny. Right, I know. Second story. His roof was up now. Yes. <laughs> Compost and toilet. You have a washer and dryer duo. You can probably put a microwave. Two burner. Good morning. You slept right by. Good morning. Yeah, I did. Hello. Desk, desk area. I like that. 
Dining room table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the step thing. Watch yourself. Uh, grab the grab bars. Oh, these steps are really narrow. Oh, you can actually stand up oh, up yeah. here. Come on up. Go check it out. Woo! <sighs> I got bad knees, Lord. We changed the stairs. Nice. Them. Property or just Lord, I'm sorry. Down. You can oh, actually down. stand up. Uh, this is our prototype. This is currently right. our first and only. Let's that go will take show. a look at that the bedroom. That will bedroom. be arriving to Tucson by end of January. Yeah, uh, nice. For the final assembly. We're setting up our okay. distribution center in Tucson. Nice. So that's uh, right now. About after this weekend. a queen size bed. We came down to Tucson. We have this home set up. You, know, you can come by yeah, Aria's parents who are downstairs. It's on their, on their property soon. You got a window. Like, Hi, so everyone. <laughs> he looked at me like I was crazy. Because I am. <laughs> There's a pole, but no pole dancing, y'all. No pole dancing, okay? Yeah, these steps are really narrow. Uh, I don't know if I like these things. But from the steps, you can see the bedroom. Nice. But at least they do have rails. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, watch out, sweetheart. I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. One down, three up. Good morning. Okay, so that tiny home there. I mean, I like the fact that you can stand upstairs, but I don't like the steps at all, okay? You got bad knees, you gotta be careful with some of these tiny houses with steps. Those steps were very, very narrow. Nice. Swarble seats. Is that a TV? I think that's a TV built in. Wow. Storage underneath. So they rent these out, go camp, and they said, depending on the make and model and the van, it can cost anywhere from 110 to 200 per night to rent one of these out. But this is, has a wet bath. So it has a compost toilet and a shower. It has a step stool to get into the bed. Now the bed area definitely seems tight. Like I wouldn't be able to stretch out in this bed for sure. Deep sink. I don't know if I like this one, y'all. Looks nice. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Swervel seats in the front. Looks nice. What it feels like to sit. Oh, you can be at home chilling. So much better than that minivan. Nice. Tight space though. And the bed, the length of the bed, I probably wouldn't be able to fit. I'm 5'5". Five five. Let me go ask the lady, what's the length of that bed? Do you know the um the length of the bed there? Say it again. The length of the bed? I don't know. Somebody asked that. I want to say 76 feels good just based on what I know normal transits are. He doesn't have a compound, so I feel like it's probably about 76. Oh, it looks small. Just a little shy of a Yeah. Line. Okay. Thank you. But if you guys want to ever rent like a class B, you know, you can go check out 
go camp they will have like all different types different make and models different designs in case you want to try and um, see if a class B is for you you can go to them and rent one out yeah So this unit here is actually 280 square feet, module home, built from the, you know, they built it from the ground up, it's made of steel, it has a Murphy bed that turns into a dining room, she said, and now they don't make them this small anymore, they actually make them 360 square feet, um, so they're made a little bigger, but it's pretty nice. Two rings, electric stove, sink. Oh, cool looking microwave. Cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Beautiful inside, oh. but yes, <laughs> it is. Nice. Washer dryer unit, fridge up here. Here is the bathroom. Nice. Decent sized bathroom with storage. That's different. Is this like a closet? Oh, cool. Closet. Linen. And turn around is your shower. Nice size. This is nice. Do you know how wide the bed is? It's full size bed. Full so, size? Yeah. Really? Nice. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. Are we going to put a van? Um, yes. And <laughs> hoping and wishing we could be able to afford one one day, but. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's spun wheels. Yeah. Nice. So to the sliding doesn't I've never stand seen nothing like that before. Yeah, it's like kind of innovation that we do in all our builds. Nice. It's heavy duty rails, so you can stand on. And I like the fact that the bed is stationary, so you don't have to, you know, so fold a single it up. bed. Okay. So if you do attach this tape, okay, I see. So the seat has to be turned this way for that yeah. to work. Yeah. Okay. Nice. This is nice. If you got about $200,000, it's really nice. Plenty of storage. This is the Mercedes. You can climb up the ladder. And she said, I can climb up there. And they got a little layout up there. So let's get up there and see, guys. Guys, I don't know if this is for Ivy. Uh uh. Nice. You can get up there and sit. Nice. Your solar panels over there. Awesome. Okay, let me get down. <laughs> for $20,000 starting. 
And here we are. And he's got this decked out. I think his name is Randy. Let's go take a look at this tiny home. Nice. Hello. Everybody, but uh, nobody, none of my friends have been out to see one. Oh, yeah. Do you think I'm doing okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. Hello, Fridge. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm well. Have you heard about this? Decorative before? law. Our incredible tiny box? Incredible box before? No, it's funny. I was just watching the video yesterday. Oh, we're going to be at Tiny Fast. I just found you guys at your YouTube channel about a month ago, and oh, I love okay. watching. Oh, yeah, okay. There's a good. That's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah, twin size that. bed, yeah. loft. I saw it yesterday. Oh, yeah. Living I'm area. Good. I'm not looking for tiny house per se yet, but my friend is. Yeah. And I like getting ideas and stuff. Sure. Squeeze okay. through. Yeah. We can sleep at least two people in here. For sure. Yes, it is. Hi there. Hey. Hi. Yeah, I like how they got the ladder out the way. Yeah, they got the ladder out the way so it takes up less space. Now, who's your friend? They really utilize the space very well. Oh, the red? Yeah, utilize the space very well. Yeah. Well, I sent her your video. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six people in here. And, yeah, it doesn't feel crowded. Really, it doesn't. I'm not sure how many square feet this is. I'm going to ask the lady how many square feet this is. Um, but they make tiny boxes, incredible boxes like this. Starting at twenty thousand, very, very, very affordable. Definitely. How many square feet is this? Uh, it's an eight by twenty. Eight by twenty? I don't either. <laughs> you don't have eight by twenty. Okay. One hundred sixty feet, maybe, or something like that. Okay, about one hundred and sixty feet. I don't do math well either. You can, you can, you don't have to prove it, honey. I'm not gonna stress you out. <laughs> So you guys built these like in different designs too, or this is we the main do design? We have uh, custom builds and model homes. Uh, okay. Up to forty feet long. Do you ever like rent these out, uh, or do you just yeah. sell them? Yeah, no, uh, they're on the property in Tennessee. People oh, live in there. Tennessee. In Tennessee is where the yeah. They're on Airbnb. Okay. And, and oh, really? Airbnb oh. On there, yeah. And then you could also buy a home on their property and just live on their land for two hundred dollars a month wow it's so, so cheap up on a beautiful mountain or in the prairie there's all four different kinds of communities wow. and all that information is in this pamphlet um, on the website on the you website, on the website. Yeah, the YouTube, YouTube channel is awesome. I know. Oh, yeah, the YouTube channel is really yeah good. i'm on youtube too awesome. i know Thank i you wanna I. yeah yeah what's your name naomi, <laughs> naomi yeah. i'm from raw fresno in fresno i have a raw <laughs> vegan restaurant i'm doing my shout out so Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Let's take a look inside of here. Nice. gives you plenty of cooking space definitely and they have a permanent bed fixture um, this looks like you can actually stretch out because they extended the sides and they got above the bed storage microwave dishwasher no oven but you got stove top with plenty of counter space, a shower, I'm sure there's a compost and toilet somewhere in here. And, and it has a nice workstation with an 
good sized table, good windows, shower, swervel seats. This is built on a Dodge Ram. Nice. This is, oh, and it has an extra um, table that you can lift out. Plenty of counter space for cooking, whatever you need. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Let's go take a look at this one. They got an outdoor folding table. And this one runs for starting at one, I believe she said $160,000, guys. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, this one has less counter space, storage, this is probably your shower, toilet, so it has a wet bath, okay, fridge, microwave, it has good storage space too with cabinetry. I love the, oh Lord, don't turn nothing on, grabby y'all. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Seating area with a TV. Get out of town, y'all. Let's, nice. You can be chilling out at home. <sighs> y'all. What y'all think? Does this fit me? Mm, how I look? Styling and profiling on something I can't afford. <laughs> now, as I'm looking at all of these Class B RVs, <laughs> I'm saying that they're all nice because most of them are nice. And when you go and look at several different ones, you find yourself seeing the pattern of most of these uh, Class B RVs, the layout and the commonality that most of these have. Now, when you're looking, when I'm looking for what I would look for in a Class B RV would be something that makes my life more convenient. So, lifting your bed up and down, having to assemble it, deassemble it every single day would not be a convenient lifestyle for me, per se. Um, so, I definitely like the ones that have the bed structure already put into place where you don't have to convert it on a daily basis. But I also like the fact that um, having the room to not feel claustrophobic inside your vehicle, especially if you're spending this type of money on a Class B. Now, this is more of your luxury type style homes on wheels. You know, I'm not sure how many people, you know, purchase one of these. I'm sure they're probably self employed or employed. Um, probably finance them and just hearing the different prices on these vehicles it makes me understand a little bit more like why people build out their own <laughs> um, makes it more affordable for sure so this here is a camp free camper company and what they do is they convert um, they do the build out for vans. So if you had a van, you can bring your vehicle to their look, to their business and they will convert your van into a livable space. And they also do mini vans from what she said. So, um, but they also do sell vans that are converted. Here's one behind me that the interior cost to build it so if you had your own vehicle the interior cost to build that is twenty nine thousand. but if you wanted to buy the whole unit it would be about ninety six thousand. 
and that is the high rise and they also have here on the showcase a low rise so this interior is twelve thousand five hundred but to buy the whole vehicle it would be forty two thousand so but it's a low rise so you won't be able to stand all the way up so we're gonna go take a look at the low rise and the high rise I got a stationary bed that looks like it has ample space, guys. And let me show you me standing up in the van. So I am 5'5", five five and I can't quite stand up all the way. I have to bend a little bit, So, but it's still not that uncomfortable. I don't think so, but hi. <laughs> It's nice in here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, something like this to me is like totally affordable. Totally affordable. Yeah. And it has storage, seating area, composting toilet, a little counter with a, an additional counter, swervel seats. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so you can, I mean, with this, you can cook inside or outside, you know? Yes. Because if you got a, you know, you're a portable, you can put that on the counter. Mm -hmm. It has a sink, <coughs> water. Oh, I love your, what are those, uh, like, uh, windows called? Yeah, those are nice. Fridge, nice. You can theoretically put one of the propane powered showers out here. Yeah. You could. Yeah. We're going to go take a look at their more luxury build. This is a high rise. Okay. They have extra counter space here. This is a little tighter space than the other one. Um, they have some storage. Oh, that's a really deep cabinet. Most of their storage is underneath the bed. They have plenty, plenty of counter space for cooking, whatever you want to do. Oh, I like this uh, concept for the outlets. I'll be uh, quick touching things. Oh. You just pull it up. <laughs> Max air fan at the top. Nice size bed. They got the extensions for the length of the vehicle to make the bed fit. Looks like a queen size. Not sure. Plenty of counter space, like I said. Fridge, swervel seats, and they have uh, extra table for dining, working, nice. Now I know I said this is nice, but there's really not a lot of room in here um, at all. There's really not a lot of room to maneuver. Yeah. But it was it was a nice build. There's just not a lot of room to maneuver. Um, and like I said, uh, these guys are talking, but most of their storage space is going to be underneath the bed. So it's nice. Yes, it looks nice. But for me, would it be livable? I don't quite think so. So <sighs> this is going to be an all day event. Let's go look at this very, very unique. What is this? Hunts, huts by Pete. Huts by Pete. Let's go take a look at this unique trailer that you can trail along to your truck or something like that. Let's go take a look. 
Now this can be somebody's type of tiny living for, you know, 16,000, 18, 19,000. It gives you, it's a seven by 12 feet. Um, it's a 100, 350 pound tug weight. You know, you can, this can be a good addition to my minivan, you know? park somewhere and I have extra space you know this is nice yo you got a nice size bed in here chill out you got place to eat work you know possibly cook on here if you wanted to it has sink Nice. Now something like this could be a good addition to my van life journey, but I don't know if I want to deal with trailing or tugging something along this big all the time. But it's really nice. <laughs> I love it. Love the idea. I mean, people are so freaking creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. There was a lot to see and that was the majority of the stuff there. That wasn't even everything. You know, I would highly suggest if there's an event like this in your area, I'm gonna actually look that up and I'll get back with you on that. But seeing them on video versus seeing them in person is two totally different perspectives something on video can look so cool and so awesome and then you go inside of it and you're like ah uh, it's cute and all but i don't think that's for me anyways guys i'm gonna be quiet because that was a pretty long video i don't normally like to make videos that long but i hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for part three where i will be showing you nomads that have converted some type of vehicle into a tiny home stay tuned for part three like i always say thank you. first thank you for watching and live your joy travel safely and i'll see you on the next video shalom